the best feature. Let's see, open a document, uh, let's say JavaScript, and I want to print, oh, that's, that's great, let's try that again, CL, console log, yes, okay, hello, word, run, file to save, okay, JavaScript, random name, there it is, hello world. Uh, let's see. I want a let's say I want a function. Oh, nice. Uh, but I want constant error function. Oh, nice. Uh, let's say x um, x plus one. So that's my function, and call it f. Let's say three and uh, remove here. Run it. There it is. My answer four. Great, so you have, so this is a brief, you see, error function, or uh, for a loop, that's for a loop, and uh, let's see if I have while, oh, that's window, documents, uh, and other things. Okay, so let's remove that, let's try Emac Lisp. Okay, save save the file. X X X E L temp name. So what do I want to do? Let's print hello world. So defend. Oh, so I press D space and defend space. Oh, I have my template. So F dark stream blah blah blah. Uh, I don't need that. Don't need that. Let's just say message. Oh, that's nice. Uh, let's say hello world. Run it. Oh, it's run. So now I just mx f. There it is. Hello world. Uh, so, so there are. So this is. You see, this is Stephen. Oh, I can do. Um, let uh, I can do there's no V uh, I can do insert and lots of others basically hundred over the hundred most used functions I all have abbreviation so how do you how do you set up abbreviation uh, it's pretty easy oh there's you see there's other examples here for example, I want a heart. Uh, heart. See, that's Unicode heart. Mm. There it is. Let me magnify. So, find and you you can you can just create anything, anything, any abbreviation you want. So basically, what you do is you. Um, copy this file. Let's try that. Um, copy, and uh, you want to go to. Actually, I already have my brief file, so let's skip that step. So I just go to my bookmark, a brief, and this is this is my a brief file. But basically, uh, it looks uh, very similar to to what I have on online on my website. So you can find the website here. And the ones uh, so you you can add all these up brief. So let's try some of them. Let's say just so you can see new file. So um, as far as I know at the moment, by the way, I can't do it. Difference between what's the difference between? Oh, that's that's a hard one. That's a lots of typing so you can have abbreviations so anyway let's go back to how you do it so once you 
copy and paste and create a file and save it let's save it let's for let's for example you save us uh, emacs at free dot el then you save it in the emacs directory dot emacs dot d lisp then my brief dot el then in your init file let's go to that init file So in init file, you, he, you see this line, it just loads it. Uh, then you have a brief. Now a brief abbreviation can be mod dependent. For example, in this part, you'll see that is for Golan. So for example, if I Close this open new file and switch to Go mod. Now Go language needs a template sort of so I type G3 and there there it is, I have it. So let's run it. Where to save? So XXX go go. Run. Three. You see there's the output. So you can you can create a brief any any time you want. So let's say I want any time you want. Let's say I want an brief ATUW. So what do I uh, to expand to that? So what I do, I go to my brief file and just just copy it. Anything you want. Anything you want, A W A Y W, and run the file. Go back, A Y W. There it is. So it's extremely useful. It's the one of the biggest feature of Emacs. Um, so yeah, so that that's that's it for uh, Emacs abbreviation. I in fact I pre there is a package called YA snippet, standing for yet another snippet. But I prefer using a brief much better than um, that because, for example, in JavaScript or in other languages. Um, when you type, let's say, arrow function, if you use YA snippet, they they kind of force you to to move your cursor in this field and and that that uh, that that field and whichever spots it's set for you. I think you can reset it so that it doesn't force you to, but you know but it's more work I, I i more um i much more prefer free free form so once i have a brief i just move using uh normal cursor commands to go anywhere i want and you don't need to install another package because usually when you install a package there's lots of um init and things you have to do that's specific to that package. You have to spend time to learn it. But with a brief, it's with Emacs everywhere. Now, okay, so that's the simple way to use a brief by this by this uh, method, uh, this code. Now, there is another way to use Emacs a brief. I talk about uh, here, which basically Emacs has like twenty commands for a brief. It, that you can you can add a brief um, at any time you can list all the briefs uh, and stuff like that so so I show you how to do it that way in this tutorial but I've tried both ways you know I, I've been using this way with the uh, elis, elis, emac lisp file and I've also used the the Emacs, uh, the more official way. Um, 
and I find that the the Emacs Lisp way is much simpler and easier. But you know, you you might prefer the other way. So um, that's it for this tutorial. Tutorial. Thank you for watching.